Okay, as promised, here is <clears throat> my instructional video for Fish Taco by Dick Dale, who I've seen a, a bunch of times live, and I've always loved this song. So I'm going to try to do this real quickly. So the opening riff starts out here, which is 3rd um, string, 6th fret, 2nd string, 5th fret. So it's... And then he slides it down 2 fret, or 2, yeah, 2 frets. Okay, right there, same position, just moving it down 2. So it's, and then to an A, open A, or not open A, but your A right here just going across all those strings, just your standard A chord. And then part of the A, the third string and second string on the second fret, go walk it up. Same position that we just showed you before. You know, Dick Dale does a lot of this kind of hard to get right but okay and then after that he does it again and then he just keep that position like there and add your third finger on the seventh fret okay so it's back to the A and then he takes the same chord all the way up to the 14th fret which is just an A, leaving this fifth string open, okay? Okay, so this is basically part of your E chord, but it's 14th fret, 4th string, 13th fret, 3rd string, 12th fret, 2nd string, and then you can leave that 1st string open, so it's... And then this, I like to leave the D open. So you just have your 11th fret, 3rd string, 2nd string, 10th um, fret. Yeah, 11 and 10. So it's... And then you're going to do something similar where you... Okay, you're just going from the tw or 10 to 12 on the 2nd string. Back to the A. and then to an E chord. And then you're hitting that note, and then using 5th fifth, fifth fret 1st string, 5th fret 2nd string, it's kind of like, it's still an A, so you go... Okay? And then he does the whole thing over again, and there's... <clears throat> Then the part where he kind of walks down the power chords, starting at the 5th fret to the 2nd fret. You're just playing the top three strings, okay? He does that a couple times, then he goes back up to here on the 14th fret like we did before, basically an A. And then, same other chord, that's basically like an E chord, just playing those top, uh, so it's... Actually, wait, let me, let me do this over, okay? So it's... So it's... So, yeah. So it's just these two, actually, in this section. So you have the A and the E. And then you do this. 10th fret, 1st string. 12th fret, 2nd string. And you're kind of, then walk it up 2 frets. Same position. Then back. Then you're doing this, which is an A chord, but just the position like a D, but on the, starting on the ninth fret. So it's... You can, you can throw in the open A there. And then it goes to a, a partial D chord. We're really just playing uh, on the seventh fret, the fourth, third, and second strings. Okay, and then go like this, just slide it up two frets, and then go like this, and then to an A. Okay, you can keep that E open on the first string, and the A open 
on the fifth string, and then, the, then your A, then your A position on the middle three strings. So it's and then it goes back to here. Keep the D open. You're gonna do that pull off again, like before. And then back to the A position, which is you're really only playing th third frets and second, or yeah, third. Third string, second fret, second string, second fret, and then an open E. Okay, so it's. Back to the E. And at the very end, he goes A chord, and then just slides it up, keep, keeping this open up to the 14th fret. Alright, um, contact me if you have any questions about this video. Thanks.